What I would like to have right now is for all you fat, out of shape internet trolls, keep the noise down while I take my robe off and show the, the women what a real man looks like. Hit the music. Those were the words of one of my favorite wrestlers, Rick Rude. And I'm here in Roswell, Georgia at Green Lawn Cemetery and paying my respects to him. He died, unfortunately, at the young age of 40. And there's been some debate about how he passed away. They said there was cocaine in his system. Uh, they also said it was heart, um, heart failure. I guess maybe a certain lifestyle that he led caught up to him. But um, I think he was preparing of trying to make uh, an in-ring return again. He did get hurt wrestling uh, Sting overseas in Japan. And I think Sting did a leap on him um, on one of the uh, ramps. And he wasn't prepared to catch him. And he hurt his back. And he did have a Lord of London's insurance policy that he wound up cashing in. And, of course, when you did that, you could not wrestle anymore. And he wound up uh, later becoming a bodyguard for DX, for China, and, and uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, uh, Triple H. And then later, he wound up going to WCW, being part of the NWO. But uh, I remember seeing him in my teens as uh, tag team champions, NWA, with um, Manny Fernandez. And they would come to the ring playing uh, We Will Rock You, which was by Queen. So the crowd was definitely into him. And, uh, of course, I remember when he became the uh, WCW champion two times. And who can forget his feuds in uh, WWF uh, with Ultimate Warrior and Ricky Dragon Steamboat and... Uh, was entered continental champion but definitely colorful character and uh definitely one of my favorite favorite wrestlers and man he had those abs six six packs and everything else uh they said he was a really really tough guy in and outside the ring but they say he was a really really nice guy very religious but anyway i want to show you where he's buried he's buried here in this mausoleum uh his wife michelle whenever she passes away he'll be buried here as well he was born in december 7th 1958 in uh st um, peter's uh minnesota and uh believe it or not one of his um high school classmates was kurt henning mr perfect so uh matter of fact there were a lot of good wrestlers that came out from that area whether it be the uh, the road warriors they came from that area and uh mr perfect and uh, a couple other guys as well came from there. But let me show you this bench that his family had made for him as well. This is our loving daddy, Rick Rude. And of course, uh, he spelled it in wrestling, R-U-D-E, but uh, that's the real spelling of his name. And in 2017, he was inducted into the uh, WWE Wrestling Hall of Fame. And uh, I believe his son is, uh, trying to pursue a career as a wrestler so uh, make sure you check him out uh, one of his other sons unfortunately um, Colton passed away in a um, at car accident so it was very sad to see that that was in 2016 so um, anyway this is Rick Rude so if you like this video please leave a comment below and uh, Click subscribe to subscribe to my channel. But yeah, who could forget him and Bobby Heenan? <laughs> it was always a treat and it always uh, put a smile on your face seeing those guys perform.